Show me. Spot.
Deadly cold. Oh, and I get us. Have a song. Oh, you have likely never heard the story of the time Odin and Freya Sing appeared before. Is there a sea skull among you? Unar the Ugly was an excellent sailor who could pilot a longship entirely on his own. This is why King Sigvaldi kept him around. In all other matters, Unar was a cruel, anxious, and humorless man. He was one of the most unlikable people I have ever known. One year, I recall we had invited some carls from the Ingling clan to dine with us. As we were serving ale, we came to find that we had none left. It so happened that the ale had run out just before reaching Unar's horn. This raised in him a word storm, and he accused Sigvaldi of treachery. Every man in the longhouse jeered at Unar for raising such a fuss. This made Unar angrier than before, and he stormed out. A short time later, we heard him yelling through the door of the hall. I set this scorn pole upon the men of Ingling for their dishonor! We looked outside and saw that Unar had severed one of the heads of the Ingling's horses and stuck it upon a hazel branch. When he saw us gathering at the door, the Ingling Carls among us, Unar panicked and ran. He was not seen for many months. Drop the sail! Hey! Be still! I need your eyes, my friend.
time. Uh, hey! I'll finish you! Be careful now. Scrambling free. Stay sharp. Hey, what? Shoot the blasted troll shagger!
Go, Sunan. Me, will you? Or then take you. to keep a lookout.
Sunen, guide me. I am lost and honor-bound. 
This quest will put me in the ground. Where is honor to be found? I feel I am going round and round. I am lost and honor bound. Where is honor? You arrived without a sound. Are you a scald? I have never heard poetry shouted in this way. A scald? Oh no, not at all. I am truly looking for honor and have become lost as a result. You're looking for honor here. It's a bit remote. I am the seventh son of a seventh son. I am expected to bring great honor to my family. But everything has been done. My uncles and brothers have all had great victories, or even greater deaths. There's nothing left for me to do. The gods have been deaf to my pleas, but you are here. So you want a great victory from me, or a great death? No! I want to live, and I could not possibly hope to win against you. That is true. But maybe you could lead me to a victory. I can tell by looking at you. You're not a great warrior. You know it too. There is no reason to deny this. I could bring you a chance at honor. An animal of some kind. Something you could handle. Yes, yes. That could work. I could add a few details. Nothing too exaggerated. Skulls do it all the time. So now you're a skull. Do not go anywhere. I will only do this once. I will be here. On my honor. Sure to... Now, win your honor. They are much bigger up close. I do not think I can do this. I do not think I can do this. Come, Elland. Honor calls. Keep focused. Guard up. Steps in. How was your first kill? Gods! I have never felt so alive! My Hooger soars on Raven's wings! With this rebirth comes a new name. From this day you will be called Ellen Wolfwhip, Killer of Curs. Oh, it suits me. You know, now that I think about it, I think my story should be told in verse. Farewell, Beast Beta. Wolf whip. Hear my name. Run and hide amongst the trees and thicket.
My blood freezes. from them. Lift a charmed life. Buy yourself some... Welcome, warrior. Sulke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds. Rare objects. Priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap? Belonging to the hero Sigurther when he fought... The Great Beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Halfdan the Black wore when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varin wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Sulke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Chadve pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyotva. I ran! Coward. I should cut you down. No! Leave me alone! You will answer for your actions. Run for uh. Your treachery ends here. Please, I never betrayed Farron. On my life, I was frightened, and I fled, and when I returned, everyone was gone or dead. And yet you looted our dead, battered the ashes of their lives. It was all I could find. I sold nothing for a long time, but the weight grew too heavy, and I needed to eat, to survive. This is not living. Without honor, we're worse than beasts, and have no hope of a better life beyond this realm. This world is all I know, and this life all I have left. Would you take that from me? Take anything you want from my shop. Take everything. Just let me live. <laughs> May the gods grant you better luck than I have seen.
Guards here are vigilant. What's that about? Hey, what's that about?
must be barred. Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Look like you could handle yourself in a fight. Eivor... What tiny little child approaches. Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I have consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? You have the form of a very large swine. Come on, you can do better than that. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant, yes, more! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick?
No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. Brutal! I adore it! <laughs> Wonderful! Rare to find someone with any flighting skill. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Happy to be of service. Eivor Wolfkiss, is that you? Welcome, welcome. Come see what I have. Can I tell people this? Can I tempt you with something else? I have to go. <gasps> Make way for Eivor, the terror of the western shores! It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjörn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested how? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Show me your picks. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. This is my raiding crew, Eivor. What they lack in experience, they make up for in... Other areas. Together, we will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron, into raiders. So, which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashild the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So those three, yeah? I have handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Eivor Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Eivor Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Eivor. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready. <gasps> fight! A raider needs to be ruthless. I am better than any man here. You have much to learn. Yeah! 
It was an honor beating you. Rolf, your raiders are tougher than they look. Tougher than you know. Thorgils got back up after you went down. He finished the fight. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed. Like his old man. Wait, that is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. Come now! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Sheath your edge and grab some dice, stranger. Come. I do miss the rattling of luck bones. Are you any good? I'd like to find out. Let us play. I will not go easy on you. Interesting.
will do. My game, stranger. Just give up. Almost got you. Too easy. I went easy on you there. Let us go again, I dare you. Set the board. We go again. Interesting.
Chris will do. Interesting. Go easy on me, will you? will do. Oh, not like this. Interesting.
this will do. Good game. Today is supposed to be a lucky day for me. Shall we go again? Another time, perhaps.
Couldn't doubt drink me. Shall we lock horns? If you suck it back faster than me, you are the victor. How much silver? You're on. Ha. We drink. about this land, my friend.
see you, old friend. Be my eyes, Sunan. Have a look, Sunan.
You're a long way from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrok named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families, overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. And now... Now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain. His most loyal, Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision, we are lost. It was in this cavern that I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife. Leapt on its back, held tight. Writhing like a fly on a dragon, he stayed put. And it was done. So, together we celebrated the kill, as if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. It is with great honor I will fight a true Drenger, when you're ready. Very well. For Ragnar Lothbrok, the true king of Norway. For Ragnar, for glory, for the wandering Drenger do I raise my blade. for all the... Uh.
Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home... ...there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Not yet. I have a few things to settle first. Are you ready to set sail, Eivor? I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anger, lord. No. You must be his better half. May Agir bless your voyage. sacks of wool put some muscle into those pools ration your strength dog we have an ocean to cross 
All right, you lazy back routes. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hoog. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land. Lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say... Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm.
Say it again, nice and loud. Uh, seriously? Sure, come on. If nothing else, it'll give me leverage with your old man. Ah, that's your angle. Nice. <sighs> what I said was, I wish I hadn't been born into the Assassins. I wish I had chosen this life. Is that good enough? Sure, but why is that? Because, because choice is the central idea of our creed. It underpins everything, right? It's about free will. It's about seeing the evidence before you and saying, yes, this is what I want, or no, this isn't for me. But when you're born into a group like this, or any other, like I was, you get mixed signals. You get told over and over again, this is what we believe. These are the rules. This is reality. No deviation. And if you question it, oh, they look at you like you, like you killed a puppy. That's hardly free will. It's a weird irony when free will is your central belief, but nobody wants you to believe otherwise. I don't know how to say it exactly, but I always thought there was something self-destructive about our creed. If free will is the most important moral guidepost we have, we should be free to ignore it. To choose submission, for example. You know what I mean? Like, we should be free to side with the Templars. If it's really my choice, I could do that. Right. It's almost self-refuting. A democracy could democratically elect a dictator or choose to get rid of democracy altogether. Within our creed is the seed of its own destruction. That's what makes it powerful, I think. 
I'm fragile. Right, right. The more freedom you have, the more risky it is, you know? Anyway, my dad has mellowed over the years, but he was strict when we lived on the farm. We ran a tight ship. I never got the impression that I was free to choose my path forward. Our creed, our tenets, they were drilled into my head. By the time I was a teenager, I was following these rules out of a sense of duty. This was just what we did. That happens to a lot of organizations over time. The stagnation sets in, you know? The fundamentalism. Yeah. Following the rules becomes more important than achieving whatever goal you set out for yourself. And people start to lose sight of the reason the rules exist. That's called deontology, or a form of it. Following a rule for its own sake and not for the consequences it has. Yeah, but that feels backwards, doesn't it? Well, I think so. Following a rule is the easy part. Praying, taking a sip of wine, munching on a wafer. Rituals that give comfort. But that's just going through the motions. It makes people feel like... like they're doing something. When the hard work is... well, actually getting off your ass and doing something productive. I think people just want boundaries. Tight boundaries. They want to see the four walls that pen them in. I don't disagree. Anything outside that? Anything that makes life more complex? That's scary. That's why I envy you. You chose this life. You went through that process and you decided, yes, I believe in this. Sure. It didn't stop me from being an insufferable know-it-all as a teenager, but I see your point. I would have loved to have been a know-it-all. I knew nothing. Not until you guys found me. Yeah. It wasn't until I met you, and Bex, and Lucy, that I knew. I knew I wanted to be an assassin. Oh, thanks, Des. Come here. Bring it in, bud. I don't normally like touching, but I'll make an exception now. I am not hugging you. You sure? Because I smell very nice today. Can you just turn that off? Hold on, I'll just set this here. Do you guys record everything we talk about? Not everything. But you've been using the Animus so much, I thought this was a good chance to learn some things about prolonged exposure. So I'm your guinea pig? No, no, my guinea pigs are all dead. The Animus was too much for them to handle. Cute. Can I ask you about the bleeding effect? Any recent flashes? Any memories resurfacing? Yeah, the usual things. Ghost images of Altair and Ezio a few times a day. Nothing intrusive, just brief moments. They pass quickly, almost without me noticing. Like a figure in the corner of my eye. Or remembering a dream from the night before. I did have one extended hallucination a few days ago. It was Ezio. He was older, around the time he left Cappadocia. He was standing on the deck of a ship, alone. And through him, I could feel an intense... Regret or guilt. And it felt to me like he'd had a, a loss of faith in himself, in the creed, like he couldn't keep it up, couldn't stay true to his ideals. And as I watched him, I thought, is this the moment he decided he was done being an assassin? It felt like it. Anyway, most of my visions have been brief, lasting just a few seconds. They're like complete memories of small moments that appear suddenly out of nowhere, fully formed. It's a strange feeling. Okay, anything else? I'm starting to see Connor now, too. Though I hear his voice more often than I see him, I'm sure that will change. Oh, yeah, and yesterday, just before bed, I had a memory of being on a beach in the Caribbean with a bunch of sailors. Or maybe they were pirates. I don't know, no idea. Huh. We'll look into that. And how do you feel in general? In general? Well, I feel older, for one. Much older. And it's strangely comforting. I'm collecting the memories and skills and thoughts of so many people. I feel like I've lived a few hundred years or more. Is it possible that if I do this for too long, it'll push my own memories aside? That I'll be everyone but myself after a while? It's possible. That's called identity substitution. It's happened before, but it's rare. And someone with your background shouldn't need to worry. My background? 
You mean someone with my genes, my abilities. You have ESU DNA, and that lets you see things and do things and withstand traumas that other people can't. And I can suffer in ways that others can't. That's not something to be proud of. You mean the apple? Yeah. It has a pull, Bex. It tugs at my brain. It talks to me, teases me, drives me mad. And what I did to Lucy, God damn it. Nothing is worth the damage I did, the pain I caused. I know, but you're special. That's the point. I'm not special, Bex. I'm lucky. That's all. I understand. We're assassins. It's our creed that makes us different, not our genes, not our blood. Anyone can join us. That's true. But let's leave that aside for a second. What I want to know is, have you ever had any Isu memories resurface? Isu memories? I don't... don't think so. I can't even begin to imagine what that would feel like. I think you'd know if you did. Maybe one day, we might be able to induce something. Jesus, let's fix the world first, okay? Before we start digging up my ancient ancestors. Deal. With my luck, I'll be related to some third-rate Isu like... like Sisyphus or something. <laughs> Way to aim high, buddy. <laughs> hey, you gotta. Thank you. 
Another satellite. Damn. Probably bought this in a coffee shop somewhere in Concord. Someone's got mail. An invitation to a fair in Concord. Bring your best crop and you may win a prize. Tempting. Layla, you can't run away from this. I should do this more often. Relaxing. <gasps> I'm not going anywhere. Not yet. Love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Did you get my tea? Some quality stuff here. Tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. That's quite nice. 
Soothing. Let's have a look. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Sean has been busy. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I... I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, yeah. I won't remember that. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar and tattoo it on my leg. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like... two minds. Fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. 
to a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all, and will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Ramvi! Take in your oars! All standing! Have you spotted something? Not yet. But let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood! May Thor bless you all on your way! We will see you soon! Sail on! Yes! I'm ready for whatever these green thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragna know that we're coming? They do not, for they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No, no. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him! That is the difference! Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. 
We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boats. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Hey! What's going on? <laughs> I need your eyes, my friend. This area is off limits. Some kind of trouble. in thickets, dog. <laughs> Not a moment's peace. The brush won't hide you. Hold there, you! Lord, preserve me. What's that about? You in the bush, rat! What's going on?
piece around here. Anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. The chain is away! Hey, boy! Back to the boat! We should be close now, barring any more surprises. <laughs> Sigurd, give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dag. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of symbol pleasures, aren't you, Dak? He is happier for it. For my forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory, and now they are rubble and ash. To be remade, we will rebuild their empire brick by brick, and ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, God. The ruins are not a warning, they are a testament. Look there, just ahead, where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. Last! To find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There is too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all, together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. 
You there? Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Hey, wait. Time to die. Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You have what you oh, wish for, Dag. Feels like home. <laughs> This is so not good! Surprises. Right. I will check the longhouse. This land, my friend. Eivor, look at this. A noise trap. There might be something inside. I will have a look. Wait. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there! Untie us! Let us walk, and we will not hurt you! Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses, and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halstan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them.
You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? Yeah, we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Randvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of Ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of plans, old letters, a few runestone messages. 
It took some time to decipher the mess and piece it all back together. Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. 